네, 안녕하세요. 매일매일 운동하기를 실천하고 있는 동탄 왕호입니다. 비가 어마어마하게 왔죠, 비가. 어제였죠, 어제. 야, 이거 엊그제 게 밤에 강남이 침수가 됐습니다. 아. 아주 그냥 난리가 난리가 아니었죠. 지금도 비가 와요, 지금도. 네, 그렇게 많이 나오는, 여기 동탄은 많이 나옵니다. 다행히도. 비가 근데 엄청나게 오고 있어요, 여러분. 비 피해 없도록 조심하시고요. 아, 저는 이번 주 내내 새벽 출근이고, 다음 주도 새벽 출근이에요. 그래서 퇴근하면 은 수영을 갑니다, 수영. 수영 갔다가 영화원 갔다가 오늘은 영화관 안 가는 날이어서 수영하고 왔어요. 아 그래서 지금 너무 힘듭니다 여러분. 수영이 너무 힘들어요. 일단은 스트레칭하고 팔굽혀펴기 조금만 하겠습니다. 아 저병을 연습을 했더니 와 죽을 것 같아. 아, 네, 그렇습니다. 일단은 운동하겠습니다. s r e g i o n despite constant shelling, the front lines have barely moved, especially in the past few weeks. As Russia keeps up its missile and rocket attacks, residents unwilling to leave their homes in the last town left standing are enduring an existence that grows more grueling by the day. CNN's Nick Robertson has more for us. In s i v e r s civilians are buried where they fall. No time, no safety for a cemetery send-off. No bomb too big, no building in this eastern Ukrainian town seemingly off Russia's target list in their slow but relentless push westwards. This town is on the fringes of what the Ukrainian government controls. They're surrounded on two sides by Russian forces to the east and to the north, about five miles, eight or ten kilometers away. shelling here, an ever-present danger. Among the ruins, people are surviving. 2,000 of a pre-war 11,000 clinging on. Valeria barely seems to notice another shell exploding. How hard is it to live in? I don't realize it, but she's about to teach me how hard. She's not kidding. She comes back with a saw. and a floorboard scavenged from a blown building. Every day! Every day! Every day! s o i l letters. Okay, so this is hard. What, why do you... Yeah, good muscles. Why do you stay here? If it's so hard, why do you stay? Valeria's lesson for me. Yes, life here is very hard, but this is home, and wow. leaving would be harder. It's uh, home. My house! Yeah. My so, house! But it's, but it's so dangerous. Mm. There, there's bombs and explosions and... Mm. Someone has to stay, she says. We go in the basement when there's shelling. Oh. Okay. Yeah. okay, I'm coming. She leads us to the basement. So you're sleeping in here, you're living down here. We've been sleeping down here for more than three months, she says. Down here, her cheerful sparkle is gone. We have no gas, electricity, water, or communication, she says. I have nowhere to go. There's more she wants to show us. Yeah, look at this. Smashed. Valeria's neighbors, like her, cooking outside. Hello. She's brought me to what's left of her friend's house. It's all destroyed. The people who were here, did they survive? God save them, she says, but now they've left. By local standards, the shelling this day less than usual. This elderly lady venturing out for food. She tells us the food handout she needs hasn't arrived. The shelling getting closer. We go. Not so lucky, those we leave behind. Nick Robertson, CNN, s i v e r s Ukraine. All right, Nick, thank you for that. This morning, President Biden is expected to sign the PACT Act into law. This measure expands health benefits for three and a half million American veterans. 
exposed to burn pits and other toxic chemicals during their military service. The funding will also benefit vets' families and research into toxic exposure. The bipartisan measure marks the most significant expansion of VA healthcare in more than 30 years. Gas prices in the U.S. on the edge of a milestone not seen in months. And cracking down on homeless campsites, is it really the best way to deal with the issue? which is part of Abu Dhabi, is my favorite because it has a big history about the country. We are in uh, Jabal Hafid Park, one of the first UAE archaeological sites. like a special place for us to do camping in very modern way. This is a perfect place to relax and enjoy nature. For World Sport. World Sport. For World Sport, I'm Quinn Wyatt. I'm Amanda Davis. I'm Andy Schultz. I'm Don Rodell. I'm Alex Thomas. I'm Patrick Snell. And this, this, this is CNN. Meet the leaders of business, sport, technology, culture, science. The world is adapting, creating, innovating. It's an opportunity for us to evolve forward. It's an extraordinary playground to invent, experiment. From every corner of the world. Right here in Japan. We call ourselves farmers and futurists. Learn how to build a better future. By protecting, Hi, well. Panda, you're protecting the ecosystems for potentially millions of other species. Oh. This oh. is the places to explore. When I woke up, the only thing I could think about was dancing.